I want to take this opportunity to talk about an issue that I'm having, and the issue is called Ring Zero, or at least that's the nickname I call it. Now, it only happens on Cache OS and only Cache OS, and I don't know why, uh, but here is what it's actually called. Where the hell is it? I know I posted it. Da -da -ba 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 -ba. Interesting. Aha! ring underscore graphics underscore zero dot zero dot zero or i don't know i don't know what to call it maybe it's just gp reset eh. maybe they're the same thing i personally do not know it's annoying it's very heavily reported and it's just the most annoying thing you will ever find you're in the middle of a game right you just did something big and then all of a sudden everything freezes and everything just dies. It's gone. All your progress is lost because autosave only happens once every five minutes. Yeah. I lost two spiders because of that. Grounded too, by the way. Great game. Now, uh, it's a pain, but it doesn't happen on Nabora. I'm thinking to myself, what if it literally is only Cache OS that it's happened on? So, what do I do? fast one well i'm gonna find if else that's true so we're gonna run just normal stock linux for about a week and we're gonna see if i have any issues or i'm gonna run it for longer than an hour because at this point i should be able to just boot up install the game run it for a little bit and if i have the issue then i have my answer if i don't have the issue i have my answer oh, i really gotta fix that that's annoying so what we're doing today we're wiping out Cache OS. Now I know what people are going to think. Stopping a distro is not going to solve your problem. It literally solves the problem. Weird. Let's connect. Oh, God damn it. You're doing the thing again. Why are you always doing the thing where you end up being trouble? One second. I gotta go start this. System CTO. Enable. Vert. Or is it libvert? It's lib. I don't know why it's like this. Vert D. Thank you. And we're going to start libvert D. It's done. Now we're going to connect to libvert. No pull kit agent installed. What are you talking about? I've got pull kits installed. And they automatically start, I swear. Nabora just tries to piss me off constantly because I swear to God, pseudo DNF search pull kit. Because look, look at this. We have stuff installed. See, I have the Hyperland uh, pull kit agent installed. Okay. And, and I could totally install the GNOME one. Match fields names. I'm not sure it's there. Probably have to search like gnome pull kit or something, but yeah, it's 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 installed pseudo NF installed pull kit. Uh huh, that's what I thought. And is it called gnome pull kit? Gnome? No? Hmm. One second, let me go fix this. This is dumb. So it's actually in reverse. It's Pull kit. No. It's like that. What? Did I spell it wrong? I did not. Weird. Why are you like this? Why are you doing this? Oh, it no longer exists. So my guess is just a part of GNOME itself. Well, that's annoying. Yeah. Alright, well, whatever. We could just do it this way. Watch this. Pseudo... And then vert manager. There we go. Done. But then we have to deal with light mode. And I'm fine. I'm fine with light mode. We are going to delete that. Yes. We are going to delete that. Yes. I'm going to start this up right here. Honestly, light mode is better for your eyes in the long run, and I know that might piss some people off, but it's true. Uh, download directory. 
select you, choose volume. Ever since we started getting over to dark mode, dark mode this, dark mode that, right? It looks nice. It does. It really, really does. But the problem is people's eyes are becoming so adjusted to not having lights that even I developed photophobia. It's been really annoying. I think I'm about to switch back purely to light mode for a while. And I know that sounds sadistic as hell, but if it fixes my photophobia, if it helps strengthen my eyes, then hell yeah, I'm going to do it. Like, you bet your ass, because I don't like this. This this bugs the hell out of me, and you need to understand that. It does. It feels horrible to not be able to look at light in the same way as I used to. So we're going to add hardware. I'm going to go to PCI Express host devices, and I think it's either E16 or E18. There we go. Uh, da, 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 da. I think it's... Okay, so I have a bunch of NVMEs. I have this one. That's the 2 terabyte. This is the 500 gig, okay? And then there's E16, which is a 1 terabyte. And somewhere in here, there's an E18 right there. I don't know what that is. It should be a 1 terabyte as well. I'm trying to think whether it's the E18 or the E16 that I need. We're going to go with the E16 for right now. And I'm going to just begin installation. And I'm going to just, good, it fails. That's what I was hoping for. Uh, yep, that's the wrong drive. Okay, see, it makes life easy to just have things fail constantly on you. Because it's trying to start it up in the wrong type of thing. I have to disable that, get rid of it. So we'll get rid of that. All right, E18 is what we'll add. E18 finish unless it was just e18 that i added my brain just doesn't realize it let me see gaming we're good okay great so this is the main issue uefi firmware setup we're gonna go to uh boot manager i believe no we're not gonna go there i think it's device manager secure boot configuration and we're gonna just turn that off okay and we're going to go up here and we're going to force reset. Oh, one second. No, I have to F no. There we go. Yes. Great. And reset. Now it should boot up, which it does. Great. And now we want to connect the ISO. Do do do. Life is fun, filled with chocolates and rusty spoons. You got that. You're amazing, by the way. All right. Uh, let's go here to view. Second. I still have to fix that one issue. I really wish I had some help on my, um, what do you call it? Dot files. Ugh. Full screen. Okay, so this is where we begin. Okay. Reflector. Actually, we don't need to do this anymore. Just type arch install. And no, this doesn't make you any less of an arch Linux user. Whoever says that, you guys need help. Select regions. Canada done optional repositories we want multi-lip we want it back this configuration partitioning used best that's the one we want and xfs and new done swap great bootloader oh thank god uh host name good enough for me authentication what does it even mean Oh, well, that's a good change. I like that, except it's a little confusing to put that in there. That's a that's actually a dumb decision that they did that, but whatever. I think I understand why. And type desktop. 
I'm going to install KDE because, believe it or not, that's what my new one is built off of. Uh, yeah. Reader, I would like some SSDM. Thank you. Profile already did that. Applications. Bluetooth, huh? Yeah, sure. Thanks. Audio. Pipe wire. Great. That's new. Kernel, fine. Network configuration. Just copy from the ISO. No, actually, you know what? Use network manager. Additional packages. Uh, you can actually fill this out by a lot. Well, I want that. Uh, can I just type? No. Control H for help. What is, why is this a thing? Why, why is this a thing? Oh, look at that. All the Adobe fonts. Deal, I'll take some of those. Uh, we got some stuff here, interesting. Let's see. I don't need anything from the A's. AMD Unicode. Do I need that? What does that do? Uh, Linux firmware, okay. Thanks, that's great. Uh, what are you? I don't get the point of view. No, thank you. A AMF headers. Interesting. We're gonna, this is gonna be a long video, by the way. Just gonna say that right now. Arch Linux wallpapers. Interesting. Okay. Uh huh. It's dumb that we have to go through it like this. You know what? That's all I'm doing. The additional packages section is stupid. Just include PackSeq and be done with it. Let's be honest here. There we go. And install. It's doing its thing. So this should take a couple seconds to do the installation. Now, what am I going to do if I still get the same issue in Arch Linux? Uh... I'm pretty much screwed, aren't I? Arch wise. And I guess I will be just moving to uh, Nabora for a while. Until the issue goes away, I'll probably be testing here and there, hoping for the best. I wonder what Fedora does differently that it doesn't happen. Because I could spend hours and hours playing Grounded 2 without any issues whatsoever. So it's really weird that it happens at all like on Arch. There must be something going on in Cache OS that's causing the issue specifically. And I want to find out what it is. I'm going to smack it in the forehead. Maybe it's a Linux firmware issue. Maybe it's a different way that Messes compiles. Maybe it's a different way the kernels compiled. It could be a load of things. Who knows? But I just find it really annoying that it happens at all. Ring Zero is probably the most is the biggest reason I don't like using AMD GPUs. There's always some sort of weird regression causing problems. And I know it doesn't happen to you, but let's, listen, if it doesn't happen to you, that's great. But you know what? We can't ship your system. It doesn't matter if it works on your machine. We can't ship your machine. These bugs, they happen to people. There's about 20 or so reports over the last couple of years of it happening. There's been multiple attempts to fix. These are real problems just because they don't happen to you. It doesn't mean they're not real and they shouldn't be looked into or the user should just learn to live with it. That's not how it works. So remember, it doesn't matter if it works on your machine. We can't ship your machine. And even if we built your exact machine, it could still happen. Weird, right? So am I going to be using the Cache OS kernel? No. Am I going to be using anything from the Cache OS repos? No. And the reason being is because, well, I want to test if it purely happens here. And if it doesn't, then I know for sure it's a Cache OS issue. <sighs> I wish the whole works on my machine thing was a valid statement that you could actually have a good argument with. Because honestly, it's the stupidest thing in the world. It works on my machine. I don't have your machine. So it doesn't matter. Heat warning. Oh no. I do not like heat warnings. It says it's supposed to be 30 to 38 out today. 
a chicken. That's what that is. That right there, that was really good chicken I made. Yeah. So I um I slathered the chicken in syrup. So, you know, pancake syrup, of course. Uh Anchamamas, whatever you want to call it. You know, the good stuff. And then I spiced it because the spice stuck to the syrup. Alright, so that created that like stickiness that's needed to just bind all of it together. And then I deep fried it. Not really deep fried it. I air fried it. 350 until like the juices just slightly run red. And then I crank it up to 400 until the skin, the skin on the outside is nice and crispy and sticky. It's awesome. Okay. Um, we need Git. That's it. I just need Git. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, that's it. Exit. No, exit. There we go. Uh, reboot. Okay. So. Now that that's done. Okay. My mouse. Oh, there it is. Look at that. We can get out of there. Great. I'm going to shut down the VM. Force off. Yes. Oh. The whole jokes aside, this is going to be an interesting experiment. <sighs> so, um... If you ever had Ring Zero, or actually, you probably wouldn't know if you had Ring Zero unless you ran this. You know what? If you're having weird freezing, okay, do yourself a favor. Run this command. Journal CTL dash F. And then you're going to want to do log dot text. That will send it to your home folder. Or if you want, you could also do ring underscore zero to know, right? because this is going to save everything into that one file. So if you have a crash, it kicks you out to your desktop, you log back in, you check this one file. Let's, uh, let me show you the file real quick now that we made it. You'll get a whole bunch of information. See the information? Yeah, so it'll let you know if you had, it'll let you know if you had it. It's like a good troubleshooting measure. See if it works or not, right? It helps. It helps immensely. So I'm going to reboot to that arch. I'm going to get everything set up and I'm going to see what happens. And this video is going to go out to you right now. I'm not going to put an afterward thought into it uh, because I don't know, you know, see you guys wish me luck huh? in the comments. Yay. I got a comment I have to go look at.